Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, today, uh, wait, what am I? That call. Is it better? Yes. Yes. Okay. So today I'm joined by Councillor Driscoll, uh, Councillor White. I think that's that's it from the councillors. Uh, today we have only two items from uh, uh, the police department. Chief Cecil. Yes, I'm here. Want me to go over them? Okay. Sure. So the uh, the first item is a, uh, a contract with the Humane Society now that the police department has the animal control officers under them and under their budget. We need to have a contract to, with the Humane Society for any animals that are the victims of animal cruelty or neglect so that the uh, Humane Society can house them um, and shelter them. It's not to exceed $12,000. Now, now I see that the, uh, the the company is in uh thing in North Syracuse, right? Yes. So and then again, I I I I remember uh, that there was one on Peel Avenue. Uh, is, is that is that something that is is are they closed or what? Yeah, I'm no, I'm not aware of an actual. There may be a humane society over there, a building. But I don't think it's one of the buildings that shelters the animals. I can look into it, but I don't. I think this is the only place where they have the ability to to, put, to actually have the animals to bring them there and shelter them. Okay, uh, could, I'll could, look into it, Councilor. Yeah, could could you check? You know, because I, I I get a little edgy when 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 our services are getting taken out of this. Okay. Um, sure. With that, I, I that's why I take I take with. With this uh, CNY Humane Society, uh, are they are they uh, BTB uh, okay or what? What is it? Are they good with band the box? I you know I don't know. I can I can ask if you'd like. Uh, I have, I have no idea. I can check. Okay, them. please please. All right, uh, Councilor Driscoll, are you in? Can you hear us? I'm I'm fine with it. Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, seeing okay. all those all those concerns you raised, I, I share. So uh, get some clarity on those, and then yeah, I'm good to move forward with it. Okay, okay. Are uh, we going to move it pending those two uh, uh, two uh, uh, checking uh, chief? We're going to wait for you to give us some feedback. Okay, but we're going to move it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Sure. So the second item is one of the items where uh, I'd really like to get some direction from the council here. It's a waiver of an RFP, which we obviously don't like to do. And I know you folks don't like to see them in front of you, but this is for that right to know legislation. It's specifically for the business cards. Um, we have checked with uh, Syracuse Blueprint. They have given us a figure of about $11,000 to give business cards to every officer on the department so that we can uh, so we, we can adhere to the right to, to no legislation and we can hit that mark of December 14th. Now, this is one of the uh, vendors that's approved by the county, but um, there's also a process where we would shop this out. The county would shop it out to the three three bidders and get the lowest bid. If we go that route, and, and I'm not saying we should go one way or the other, I need your advice on this. If we go that route, we're talking about three weeks before we get that vendor and then we have to set them up show them what we need on the card and we may not hit that December 14th target. So uh, that's the reason we're asking to move. That's the reason we're asking for this RFP. But if you if if the counselors want to go that other route, uh, just be advised we may not hit the December 14th target date of having those business cards Joe, in the just, officer's hands. Joe, just a slight correction. We're asking for the waiver for that reason, not an RFP. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just I'm asking for the waiver to go with uh, Syracuse Blueprint for those cards. Hey, based are they a city firm? I'm sorry? Where is where is Blueprint based? Are they a city firm? Yeah, 8, 825 East Genesee Street. Okay. 
Can I ask a counselor uh, a question, Councilor Majo? Yes, yes, Madam President, go ahead. Okay, so Chief Cecil, uh, or maybe even Deputy Mayor Owens, who does the business cards for the council? Isn't that some type of an in-house deal? It, it is in-house. Um, um, I think that we're concerned that that process would even be a little bit more cumbersome because of staffing, COVID. It's a school okay. district that does it. Okay. Yeah. Did we, did we by chance look into that? Joe, did we look at that? Oh, yes, we can. Is it, if it's, Sharon, if it's school district, I know um, Tim Rudd said that he was going to reach out to them um, and check and see if we can do it that way. Again, it's it's not a matter of, it'd be nice to save some money. It's just a matter of, as you mentioned, Cumberson, um, we looked into doing it in-house in the public safety building because we do have someone who does cards here. Our only concern is that we don't need, don't know if he can, he can hit that target. And even if he hit the target of December 14th, it's only one person and he has a bunch of other jobs. When these officers need to re-up their cards, I mean, the officers in patrol are gonna use them a lot faster than the detectives. When the officers start to need more cards, we don't, we just don't wanna, we don't wanna fall down on the job with this right to know, so. I appreciate yep. that, Chief, but I do notice that when we get our cards done, well, like uh, Deputy Mayor said, it may be because of the constraints now, but there's not a, we get a quick turnover on our car. So maybe if we can just check out, check that out. Absolutely. We can, we can have Tim follow up and see what, what that would mean for us. But we'd like a, a, a couple options to consider just to, to be able to move forward efficiently. Chairman Joke, if I may. Yes, go ahead. I just wanted to point out that in the legislation that it, it's it's possible that if the officers don't have a printed business card that, that to fulfill their obligations, they would simply need to provide the information required uh, on some handwritten card. So, you know, they would still be able to comply with their obligations even if they didn't have a printed business card. Yep, and 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 we and we definitely understand that that is a. Um, an option in the legislation we just we just feel it's more uniform it's it's more available if they just have business cards so we 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 definitely want to pursue this route i think i think uh chief Diesel and deputy mayor i think uh, we we would really prefer in any way that could save, save some money some money here consider considering where we are currently uh, any effort, any effort that you can do to, you know, kind of reduce the cost would be great. Yeah, I, and council, I will say this. I know I was on another public safety committee meeting where I asked for some concessions as far as the printable card. One of the ways you could save money is we already print cards out for officers right now, but they're generic. They show the Syracuse Police Department. We could easily put the CRV number on the back and and the uh, uh, internal affairs number on the back. But other than that, it would be somewhat generic, but the officer could fill in his name or her name, the commanding officer, their badge number, things like that. And I asked for that early on and, and there was, didn't look like there was any wiggle room or concession on that. But we could easily do that in house um, right now. It's just, no one seemed to want that as an option. Now, now, with that, uh, with that uh, option, Chief, wouldn't that slow down an officer doing what they need to do if they have to? If they, have, if they have to write information on a card. I guess that would be my uh, efficiency in a sense. Sure, it does. Obviously, it would take. It's going to take some time to write the info as opposed to having it pre-printed. Okay. Any further questions? Well, well, Chief uh, and uh, Deputy Mayor, we will just we'll also uh, push it through. But I, I think, Councilor Driscoll, what, 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 what are you thinking? Um, it, it's 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 kind of a tough one. I, it, 
how many cards are we getting for eleven thousand? Have, have do we, have we run it at all? Do we know that this is competitive? Um, you know, I, I I know that time is a concern and and money is a concern. I just it's it's tough to comment, um, n knowing you know what kind of deal we're getting. Sure, sure. That's a great question. So that that number of just under I believe it's ten thousand six hundred. Well, actually, it's probably on here. Ten. Well, it's not on here. It says fifteen, but it's around ten thousand six hundred. Um, it, it, the, the number we asked them for was every officer on the department. So that number will probably go down. I mean, I don't know if the chief needs, he has his own cars. We have our own cars, but we did ask for every officer, every sworn officer on the police department. So it was about at the time, I believe 407 officers and it was 500 cards for all of them. We don't need that many. So the number will be less, but we didn't, the right to know does mention cards for all sworn personnel so or all sworn police officers so that's what we approach them with so the answer to your question 11,006 or I'm sorry 10,600 for 500 cards for 407 officers and council just goes to this is Sharon again um so the the cost efficiency would be connected to the county process for additional um, seeking additional uh, quotes for other from two other two other vendors on their list. The concern that Dep first deputy chief had and I have is that that's going to push us out as far as time is concerned. The average wait time, uh, deputy mayor, if you if you decide to take the route of the uh, competitive bidding. I mean, it's hard to say, but I would not. Thirty days would not surprise me. But I can't say for sure, counselor. And again, that to to uh, deputy chief's point, that could secure the vendor. Then we have to to format the cards and do all of that. Yeah. So perhaps I guess my thought would be if if we, seeing that we're trying to um, get this legislation up in a timely manner and, and be responsive to the time frame. Um, Perhaps we do a, a one time order and then the next time when when the police are coming close to to a time period where, you know, they look out in advance to see when the re up will be and we put it out for competitive bid then and, you know, just do this in, in you know, all things considered we make the, the exception for this, but the next time that they deal with it, they put it out for bid. All right, so that sounds that uh, I, I, I take that we are moving this forward and then uh, we'll talk more about it later. So, um, are you okay with it, uh, Councilor Driscoll? Yeah, I believe so in this circumstance. Yeah, yes, okay, I, I am as well. Um, and 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 Chief Cecil and and uh, Deputy Mayor, keep us, keep us in a group with uh. Whatever you find, as you call the county to figure out how long this will take and the, all the process. So, so I'm hearing that we will approve this waiver. We'll do some follow up with the county on um, the next time around what some of the cost analysis would be, and then I'll also we'll also follow up with a uh, uh, Tim regarding what the school district can do moving yes. forward. Yes. And also, just also considering again what. Um, Joe talked about with the um, existing printing that goes on with the officers filling it in. Um, you know, I don't know if that's an efficient way to do it or not, but I think I heard the council being um, amicable to that process as well. If that's, if in comparison, all of them, that works. Right, but I, I, I'm a little hesitant, uh, Deputy Mayor, on, on, on writing on cards. I'm a little hesitant on that because you get to run into uh, efficiency. You get to run into handwriting issues and all of that. You know? I, 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 I agree with you. you. I just but thought I, I heard one that, one that but but there. There. I'm sorry, but but uh, Ronnie, Councillor White just stated that it's acceptable to put it or write it out on a piece of paper, and that would take even more time. So I'm trying to understand this. I thought I heard that. Um, no, I, you said, but I'm wrong. saying that, 
that Counselor White said that it's acceptable to write it on a piece of paper, and you're saying that you have the cards where you just fill in the name. So I'm Councilman Joke. I'm trying to understand what would be the difference. Uh, so, Madam President, I'm I'm okay with the process. I'm just I'm just questioning the efficiency of it. You know, in terms of in terms of if an officer stop a person and now they got to give the business card, the timing, handwriting issues that people that they will run into uh, later on. So I, that's the, I, I'm raising that question to 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 to, to just voice that I, I'm a little hesitant on on uh, on doing that. Uh, I don't. Think Council, you, raise, I, you raise a great point there, uh, but I but I just wanted to iterate that the that the the writing the handwriting cards is only supposed to be used as a backup. So I was only suggesting that temporarily while we wait for the bids to go out, that that's something that they could resort to, just like they could resort to if they're waiting for their um, cards to be reprinted for, so that they could refill them, or they otherwise didn't have them. It, it's only supposed to be used as a backup. Hmm. Noted. Thank you. So. Uh, Madam President, are you all set? Yep, I'm set. Okay. Well, Councilor right, Joke, this is Nader again. So, I, if we're going with blueprint, Syracuse blueprint, they would also need to be meet the requirements for being in the box, even though it's a waiver. You still have to comply with that ordinance. Understood, Auditor. This is Sharon. Okay. Thank you, Sharon. All right, anything else? That will do it. Uh, unless if, if you have any other items. Okay, well, thank you so much. Chief. Thank you, uh, Deputy Mayor. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you.